The fourth expression of Gemini is participation. So if we think about the first three, freshness of being, appetite for life, inquiry into what's going on, and then we reach the second half of Gemini. And whereas in the first half we might have been more interested in discovery, the second half we're more interested in exteriorization, to, to experience in the external form of the world that which we have thought about and, and inquired into. The participation mystery depends upon involvement. That's what participation is, isn't it? So when we get involved with people, we, we kind of have our emotions impacted, impressed, negotiated with. You know, the, the people that we're with, they have their point of view and they want to persuade us that they're right and, and, and that it's a good point of view. And, and we have the same thing going on. We want to persuade people. And so this first um, degree of this set, the um, suffragist, the suffragette woman haranguing, she's on a soapbox telling people what the truth is. And, and this whole thing of, of emotional persuasion is what happens when we get involved with other people. They push us and they pull us with their emotions and we do the same thing to them. And that, that kind of persuasiveness based on feeling is what we come up against. And um, so that's the 16th degree. The 17th degree is about the, the other side of things is being open to persuasion, but on the level of reasonableness. So the, the head of health is transmuted into the head of mentality. That, that's the image and, and, um, how we feel, the, what we feel would make um, a healthy contribution to our lives. We're, we're open to persuasion that in the long term, it, it might be better if we did something else. So we have the first two degrees of this batch giving us the possibility of, of changing our position. And when we get to understand that both of these ways of of changing are available to us and we can balance both, that develops a certain an un, and an unusual quality of awareness and intelligence. Most people don't do that. They do one or the other. Germany has this facility of being able to do two things, whereas other people can only do one thing simultaneously. So Germany can think and feel at the same time. And in fact, they, they kind of quiver, vibrate between the two. So they don't really kind of distinguish between which it is. And we're, we're teasing these two mysteries out, the persuasiveness of rhetoric on the one hand and the persuasiveness of logic and reasonableness on the other. And, and, and Germany's open to both. And this gives them a very distinctive individual sense of, of reality and sense of self. And in the, the um, next degree, the 18th degree, is the Chinese men talking Chinese in an American environment we presume and this makes them rather solitary that they're not a part of the mainstream they're alone doing this and distinctive and unique and this this quality unfolds within the participation mystery of germany um, they become who they are and not quite like anyone else very individualistic and they, they don't necessarily go along with the crowd. They'll, they'll do it their way. And it will be a way of participating in things, but it will be their way. And this is a, quite a deep wisdom, really, isn't it? We, we all ought to be doing it our way within the context of participation, really. And so the deepening of wisdom that goes along with this leads us to study further. To, to, to study what was done historically, what other people think and feel and say and do, and how are other cultures and other times in history and other religions and all of this, this, this mystery of what was going on before and what's going on now elsewhere, that, that's a, a much, much bigger picture. And so in the, the 19th degree of Germany, we're studying the archaic volume, you know, and, and 
I found this to be true of a number of Germanys. They, they, they do tend to be interested in books. They do read a lot and um, absorb information quite readily. And this is a widening of the participation uh, involvement. You can get a lot more information if you read rather than just meet people, of course. However, all of this changing your mind, considering other opinions, studying, and, and you know, it kind of leads to the potential for overwhelm. And um, Gemini 20 is the cafeteria, um, which is a symbol really of, of the abundance of, of our world. Um, we, we go out to buy food when we've got the money to spare to do that. And we, we, we don't need to be parsimonious with our food supply. So we go to the cafe and we just pay somebody else to do the work for us and give us food we wouldn't perhaps normally eat. But it goes too far, doesn't it? If, if we go to that extreme degree of, of letting somebody else provide our food for us, cook our food for us, and so on, if we go too far in that direction, there's this sense of overabundance. That's the danger here, that we actually get to forget the main values. So participation in society is that which um, enables everyone to, to, to pull together, to share in a collective function. And that's the cafeteria image as well. It serves these two purposes of saying, well, yeah, when we have these benefits of synergy, we, we get more, we get more abundance, and that's a danger. So, on, on a personal level, if we participate in, in life, in the community, and we, we have many, many, many friends, and we have many hobbies, and we have everything going on, a super abundance of interesting things going on, at some point we have to say, well, look, that's just too much. And participation has to have an element about it, which is like, enough's enough. Um, Gemini 20 speaks of that principle.